Welcome to ProjectWorks, the software platform enabling professional services to thrive. Used globally by software companies, engineers, consultants, and other services firms, ProjectWorks helps companies answer the two most important questions. Is my team properly utilized? And are we making good margin? ProjectWorks integrates into existing software ecosystems, ensuring you only handle your data once. My name's Lauren. I'm a product specialist at ProjectWorks. Let's jump in. We'll begin with what a project already in flight can look like from a financial perspective. In this view, I can see budget burn for one project named Systems Consulting for the client, the city of New York City. This shows the hours logged multiplied by the billable rate, which is the value of what has been worked so far. Here is the value of the work that we have planned into the future. This shows that right now we are within budget, but if our resourcing plan is correct, we will go over budget on this project. By combining resourcing with actuals, ProjectWorks provides a forward-looking view so you can make meaningful interventions on projects sooner. Now, let's take a step back and set up a new project from scratch. I'm going to call this project Process Consulting for our client, Acme Corporation. In ProjectWorks, there are multiple ways of pricing a project. You can have a single budget for the whole project, or you can break that down into individual line items, such as phases or milestones. There are then three options for building the budget from here. You can add a fee amount for each budget line item or at the time code level. We also have the option to build our budget from the bottom up, where we can calculate the budget based on hours estimated per task or time code. I will create two phases, add in their fee, and set the appropriate accounting code that applies to each phase. I'll also create an expenses budget to log expenses against. Next, I break down these phases into time codes, which are typically the tasks. If your projects often repeat in structure, you can create project templates to clone instead of creating them from scratch each time. From here, there's the ability to create a quote but for today, I'm going to go straight into resourcing this project. Resourcing is all about capacity planning. It provides the ability to book people's time to work on a project. Here, I'm going to search for people to assign to this project so I can then resource hours against them. I could filter by role or custom fields such as a specific skill in order to see who is available. I can see how available they are before I assign them. Next, I will add what we call a shadow resource, a placeholder for someone with a role of consultant, and I'm going to resource them 100 hours in between the start and end dates shown on this page. I can swap that out with a named person at a later time. I can see here the resourcing on this project. The red shows the person is over-resourced with too much work. The yellow means they have available capacity, and the green means they have been resourced. We can also toggle between viewing resourcing at the daily, weekly, or monthly level, which means we can use the same method for all projects, whether they are five days or five months long. Now, let's take a step back and view the organization as a whole. Here is a heat map of what parts of the business are overcommitted in red and where you need more work to keep your people busy and utilized, per the numbers in the yellow boxes. Now that we've got some people booked to work on our project, let's look at how they would record time. I'm looking at my timesheet as if I'm Emma. It's a smart search to add time codes to log time against. Then I can pin the time code here to stay on the timesheet. Or I can simply show all assigned time codes. Getting staff to accurately record time is one of the biggest challenges for any consultancy which is why the ProjectWorks team has invested to make the experience simple and easy. As a result, 92% of ProjectWorks customers say they now have improved timesheet data. Now that we've got a grasp on resourcing people onto projects and logging time and timesheets, let's move to project financials, starting with the revenue forecast. The forecast screen is where you enter in the amount you intend to bill per month, per phase, milestone, or line item. It's also easy to set up a retainer billing schedule, 
or calculate the invoice amount based on percent complete. This billing schedule feeds straight into invoicing for fixed price work. It also rolls up with other projects to provide a total revenue forecast for the company. This is one of the ways that Project Works provides not only a view of what has happened, but also a forward-looking view of what the business can plan for. Now that we have some work completed on our project, we're going to create an expense on the project before invoicing our client. I can plan purchases with planned expenses, or I can log expenses that have already been paid. They can be reimbursable or company paid expenses, and I can add markups and do approvals. It's easy to take a picture of a receipt with your cell phone from the mobile interface. Now we're ready to create an invoice to my client, Acme Corporation. You can invoice based on time and materials, a fixed fee schedule, or a combination of both. There are also options to build invoice templates for more customization. For our client, we're going to use a time and materials approach. If we have any project expenses to pass on to the client, we could also add them in our invoice here. For invoices, you can work with two levels of approval, manager and finance approval. ProjectWorks integrates seamlessly with all leading accounting platforms, QuickBooks, Xero, MYOB, and Microsoft Dynamics. This means invoicing data can be exported at the click of a button removing the need for any double handling. Invoice payments are also reconciled back into Project Works. Now that we have a good understanding of the key inputs of planning, logging time, forecasting, and invoicing revenue, we can see the true power of Project Works emerge through reporting and analytics. What sets Project Works apart is that you can see not only what has happened, but what to expect for projected effort and budget burn across the portfolio. These in red are expected to go over budget based on actuals and the resourcing plan. Another key report is the utilization target report, which shows billable and non-billable time logged by your staff in a visual that you can easily filter or manipulate. You can also see projected utilization based on the resourcing plan. Being well utilized doesn't matter though if we aren't making good margin on our projects. Project margin is calculated through the cost to the business for time logged compared to invoiced revenue. But because Project Works is also forward looking, you can see projected margin based on your resourcing and revenue forecast. You can see this per project or across a portfolio, identifying which projects may need an intervention, engaging the effectiveness of your pricing strategy. There are many reports to explore like WIP reporting or margin by person that can be explained in a short video. For anything else, you can always connect to our easy to use REST API or our direct data connection through to Power BI or other reporting platforms. The Project Works team knows that power comes from connectivity. I hope you've enjoyed this quick product demo today. Feel free to go to projectworks.io to try the software out yourself in a free trial or to schedule a personalized demo. I may even see you on a Zoom call soon.